first Muhammad Shah with you. Um, today our subject is uh, about um, hemispherical solar still. Um, uh, first of all, you open your MATLAB, okay, and uh, go to your uh, module folder from here, from this path, your drive, your working folder. Uh, don't open it from uh, workspace, or uh, I'm sorry, don't open it from my desktop. And uh, from here, this is my working folder, so I have to. This is hemispherical solar cell, and uh, these are uh, my contents of the folder. And sort by name and uh, group by type is very uh, useful to you. And double clicking. Okay, this is our main model. This is um, actually hemispherical solar cell. It's a performance model, so uh, we are going to discover the uh, productivity. It is not a design model, it's a performance model. Um, there is different, quite difference between performance and design. Uh, in design model, we have the productivity or uh, the product uh, in general, or the target is known. And the cause of the target uh, will keep it unknown and we are going to discover it. Uh, for most cases, uh, it, it will become a design, such as area, mass flow rates. And for performance, we already have the, uh, the model, and we need to discover the product, the target, uh, it, it will be kept unknown and should be uh, calculated. In this model, uh, this is hemispherical, hemispherical shape, okay? And we have to assign some inputs such as um, solar radiation, ambient temperature, uh, um, basic average uh, temperature, okay, and wind speed. And these are for uh, the calculations of uh, heat transfer coefficients. And um, let's go for some design aspects that we can consider, such as glass cover absorptivity, emissivity, uh, transmittance. Uh, and the same for the water, absorptivity, emissivity, and transmittance. And we have, um, uh, we should assign uh, heat loss from the basin sides, normally uh, between these values, and the convection between uh, basin and uh, saline water. Surely you can uh, um, uh, configure these uh, uh, ranges, you can configure these ranges, I will show you how to do this. And we can, uh, if, because this is performance, so we have uh, design limitations are kept known. So, what is your cover uh, diameter, uh, brain, uh, basin depth uh, or length? Because it's, it's uh, hemispherical, so I will keep uh, uh, these values are the same. For cost parameters, you can assign these values. I will keep this because. Uh, um, these are based on your design and uh, and so on. Just click here, right click, and go here and uh, mask, edit mask, and let's go for parameters. Emphasize a little bit. Okay. And for heat transfer coefficient, you can change the caption if you would like. Heat transfer coefficients. Okay. Uh, and you can change your ranges from here because this is a slider for slider you can change you can decide minimum and uh, maximum uh, uh, ranges hit apply and okay and everything is fine let's go inside and try to discover our outputs for my outputs are uh, efficiency uh, convection heat flux between water and glass cover um, evaporation, evaporative heat uh, flux between water and glass cover, uh, radiation between water and glass cover, because the, this uh, energy streams is uh, trapped inside. We have uh, radiation, we have convection uh, be, from the basin to the water, and from the water to the glass cover, and we have convection uh, uh, from water to the glass cover. This is. Uh, Quite normal, and this is from the basin to the ambient uh, via uh, the thickness of the solar state. And we have 
two main uh, parameters uh, going outside to the environment radiation from glass cover to the air and convection so we need to discover these values uh, and we, we need to discover what is your lead what is your uh, product in kilogram and uh, glass cover temperature uh, basin temperature glass cover surface area and uh, basin surface area okay that's um, saving and hit wrong based on our uh, uh, specifications and we will see okay so we have here we can you can check your results from here you can find your results suppose i have a area of the basin if you write it you will find it here or you can drag and drop you can just drag and drop area of the glass cover and click enter you will find your results okay let's trying to discover our results this is your basin efficiency based on your specification size and diameter uh, convection heat loss okay uh, and we have here uh, uh, evaporate evaporator of heat of thermal power uh, between water and glass cover and radiative heat flux and uh, convection and we have here radiative heat flux between glass cover and ambient and we have here convection heat flux between basin and water and this is your product at this time so suppose i need to uh, examine the effect of solar radiation on these results uh, first of all you have to go here double clicking and going inside back again okay so uh, set your summation time into infinity okay and just click run and we are going to see the effect I, I have to emphasize from the side okay okay that's just quite good hit run and see now I, I'm trying to uh, increase solar radiation. As you can see, there's effect on uh, increasing solar radiation on uh, the system productivity. Okay, I'm trying to increase. Plus uh, decreasing uh, the solar radiation again. Okay, I'm decreasing a little bit. And let's see the effect of wind speed. Okay, wind speed. Okay, and ambient temperature. Let's increase in the ambient temperature and see. Okay. Okay. And average basin temperature. I would like to increase it a little bit. Up to, for example, uh, 65 degrees Celsius. Okay. You can change these parameters via a signal builder and you can uh, realize your effects on your, in your, uh, on your system. Okay, the stop. You can attach also a solar radiation model to this. Okay, you can go here to the signal builder, but before going to the signal builder, be sure that you check this or you sent, you have sent your um, signal to the data inspector. Okay, go on to the data inspector and see uh, the variations. Okay, this is the second run. Okay, and you can realize the effect on temperature, uh, glass cover temperature, uh, yield, mass flow rate, uh, thermal power, thermal power varying. Okay convection from the glass cover to the ambient radiation okay and uh, going to evaporate evaporative uh, area keep constant and okay efficiency let's see the efficiency okay uh finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in onboarding don't forget to like share uh, and subscribe thank you very much